Hello viewers, welcome to Ask Main Tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at push operator, pull operator as well as pop operator. In order to insert an array into a document, we actually have to use push operator. Now I have a document which I have shown in the previous tutorial which has two fields, id as well as x. Now let's say I want one more field of type array called as colors. In the colors array I will have three elements called as red, blue and green. So in order to insert an element or in order to create an array we have to use a push operator. So I have written an update statement where I am pushing color field and I have one element called as red. Now when I hit enter you can see that it has actually gone ahead and created a color array and it has one element red. Now let me go ahead and insert one more color called as blue. So you can see that now it has red as well as blue. Now if I go ahead and insert the same element into an array once again it will go ahead and insert a duplicate element. Now when I go ahead and retrieve it you can find that there are two elements with the same name called as blue and blue. So this is one of the drawback of using push operator. There is something called as add to set. This will come to a rescue for us. You can also go ahead and use add to set operator in order to create an array or in order to push in elements. The advantage of using add to set is it will go ahead and see whether the element exists or not. If the element exists it will not do anything. If the element does not exist then it will go ahead and add into it. Let's see how to do that. Before that I am going to create one more color called as green. Now you can see we have three colors totally red, blue as well as green. Blue is repeated twice. Now here I will insert the same color green once again but instead of using push operator I will use add to set. When I hit enter, oops there is a syntax mistake. It's actually add to set add. Now when I retrieve the document you can see that it has not gone and add anything into my array. It says that it has matched one particular array but it did not modify any of the documents. So this is one of the advantage of using add to set. Now let's say I do not like two elements having blue in my array. If I have to pull out then I have to use pull operator. So to use pull operator I'll use the same command and give the color as blue and instead of using add to set I'll make it as pull. So what it will go ahead and do is it will take out all the instances of blue element from an array. When I hit enter you can see that it would have gone ahead and deleted the blue color itself. Since I have deleted a blue color now I can go ahead and add one more instance of blue color into an array. So now we have all the three colors red, green as well as blue. Now let's say if I don't know what element I have to delete but I just know that I have to delete last element from an array. How do I do that? So instead of using pull operator I will go ahead and use pop operator. So pop operator is something like this. So I have to give pop and in the color instead of giving blue or green I will just specify it as 1. So what it does is it will go ahead and delete last element from my array. So now if I go ahead and retrieve you can see that blue element has been deleted. Now if you want to delete a first element you can go ahead and give minus 1. This will go ahead and delete the first element from an array. Now if I see it has actually deleted a red element from my array. Now if I go ahead and execute once again it has actually deleted everything. Now my array is an empty. If I try to pop once again it will not throw me any error but it rather says that matched one modified nothing. Now if I go ahead and see my array is actually empty. 
So these are the basic concepts of push operator, pull operator as well as pop operator. It basically works with arrays. Now if you try to do the same operation for with non arrays then it will go ahead and throw an error. Now let's say if I go ahead and try pull operator in document 2 for name element. Name is a string. If I try to pop that it will actually throw me an error. Let's see what exactly it gives. So here I'll go ahead and try to pop the element name which is not an array. When I hit enter you can see that can only pop from arrays. And it says id 2.0 has a field non array of type string. So you can perform push pull and pop operators on array. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.